Now, how to analyze the BIMP report or BIMP uh, data? See, you are getting like this. So, this to this portion is called latency that we know from ABR. For example, it is uh, 30 millisecond. And again, this portion to this portion is latency. Say, for example, it is uh, 20 millisecond. But here we are less bother about latency. We are more bother about amplitude, minded for uh, interpretation. So amplitude is P1 minus N1. So that here to here is the amplitude. That is most important. Say for example, it is right here, and it's showing 20 microvolt. Okay. And for example, left here I am getting 10 micro. Now we have to understand. See, automatically you uh, you was um, able to understand the uh, left here is amplitude is four. Now, how to understand? If you have instrument manual, you can establish the normal data. Otherwise, to the ten percent of normal say age range male and female, and establish the normative data. Okay. Otherwise you can follow the instrument protocol now for example uh, 20 is normal that means um, i have a, uh, that that patient having problem in left ear okay so it's as simple as that from this result you can interpret it the patient having problem in left ear but at the same time you have to compare the same result between both the ears we call it as asymmetric 